wait to get my neck tattooed. Hey guys, welcome back. Here we go again. Today I'm gonna tattoo my neck and you're gonna watch. I got some tattoos. For my birthday, I'm getting my neck tattooed, but as you know, before I get any tattoo, I have to see what it looks like on. So I ordered some similar style tattoos that I wanna get on my neck, and we're just gonna try a few and see how it turns out. I used Stray Tats, custom temporary tattoos. So you can see here, each one just cost a few dollars. I scoured the internet trying to find one where I could upload my own. And that didn't cost me an arm and a leg. So I'm trying to see, I really like this one, but I also kinda, like I really like these soft ones that look kinda watercolory. So I'm not sure. That's what we're gonna do. So let's start with this one. We're just gonna cut the edges of the flower. And happy Scorpio season, if I haven't told you already. My spectrum of inner power, I feel, has never been so heightened. Last night was Halloween. I think it was a blue moon, a full moon. The first one since like 1944, something like that but I woke up this morning and I was like, oh, I forgot I can literally do whatever I want in my life. <laughs> I can't wait to get my neck tattooed. <laughs> we got water and we got a rag. Let's do this. Take this off. So the last tattoo I got, feels like it was last year, was these little additions that went up my neck because I wanted my arms to feel more complete and since I got them done, I haven't noticed them. Even when I wear a shirt like this and they kind of creep out, haven't noticed them. This is just how my brain works. I look in the mirror sometimes and it's like, all I see are the tattoos. But then other days I don't even see them. It's really difficult to explain unless you have them yourself. So I know if I get my neck done, whether like the only way I wouldn't see it is if I had a turtleneck on, but I don't think that'll be the case. You reach this point of fuck it in life and you realize, oh, all the decisions I make are for me. And I have to suffer the consequences and I accept the consequences. But it's funny because you get tattoos and then it consequences like everyone else around you. And I'm like, what did me doing what I want to do? How did that make you so angry? I feel bad for you because I don't know what that feels like. We're in there and I don't like, I mean, sometimes you have to, when you make an appointment, you have to sit at the shop and keep placing the, the tattoo over and over and over until it's the right placement. But your adrenaline's going so much, sometimes, not that you make mistakes, but sometimes there could be inconsistencies in what you want because you have that adrenaline pumping and you're just so excited to get it. And you could be influenced by what the artist says or what your friend says. So I like to have the tattoo on me for a few days. So when I'm like walking by a mirror, or trying on different outfits, I can see how it affects my entire aesthetic. And when I first started getting tattoos, I always dreamed of being, like I just wanted to become wallpaper. I remember in the tattoo shop, the wallpaper they had in the bathroom was the wallpaper that the little house came with, the shop. And it was just like old school vintage floral wallpaper. And I remember sitting there after getting my first tattoo and being like, I just want to become the wallpaper. So that's why I've gotten so many flowers since with a touch of geometry. Okay, we wanna make sure this is really wet because we want the whole thing to stick. I think I got some like in my hair. Do you like how the tulip comes up right there? Or the bloom? Ah, look at that. Ugh. It looks really dark and it's too small. Ew. Yeah, it looks just like a blob. You can't tell it's a flower. These flowers would need to be a lot bigger and they might need to come back here too. But this is helping me a lot. But straight on, I love the contrast from my jaw to my neck right there. Let's do this one. I'm excited for this one. The sheet right here says they can last three to five days if you don't rub and tug. And I did this once before and I remember it took so long to come off and I was like scrubbing and scrubbing my neck. 
I should have just let it go on its own. Okay, it's getting slippery, I can feel it. You wanna saturate this white part as much as you can. Whoa, that looks so cool. That's sick. Oh my God. You know the moment when you realize you're becoming complete? I love that on that side. Uh, so what do you guys think? Half of you are gonna say, go for it, live your best life, and then the other half will be like, no, don't do it, don't do it. When people say that, it makes me wanna do it more. <laughs> I'm gonna eat you so. That's it for this video. Comment below if you love it or hate it, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.